Alrighty. The Gasomatics 9000 project is in bits all over the place at the moment as um, the gasifier actually became choked up with uh, creosote and stuff. It had collected on the walls of the gasifier and uh, the outlet here was blocked up. This is where it connects to the cyclone. The cyclone was pretty blocked up too. Uh, the gasifier was never really running hot enough and when it was working it really wasn't producing gas that was clean enough. Now if we look at the structure of it um, I think I've found a couple of little problems that I'm uh, attempting to resolve here. This is the charcoal pit. We're looking at the underside of the gasifier at the moment so this is the floor of it. The grate occupies this place, this space here, and here's the grate. Put it on there so you can get an idea of how it fits. There we go, it's more or less in place. Uh, more or less in place. Uh, what happens is that the grate hangs a little lower than it is at the moment on these little chain links, which puts a fairly big gap actually between this grate area and this chamber that holds the charcoal cola. What I've been finding happening is that the charcoal collects in this cavity as you'd expect when the gas pile is right side up, but then it runs through the gap between the grate and the cavity and out around the edges of the grate to fill up this cavity here, which of course is the floor of the gasifier. This the grate shaker part here never really worked all that well. I couldn't get it to engage properly with the grate, which isn't all that great. So, I'm going to take this out and uh, put this idea together. It's uh, a saucepan, stainless steel, some 25 years of old. I managed to burn the handle off. So um, I'm thinking perhaps of repurposing it. My plan is to install numerous holes in the base of this. Um, perhaps import those holes from Switzerland. Uh, maybe taken from Swiss cheese perhaps. Anyway, the holes once installed will serve as the new base for a grate. And what my plan is so to put this in there like that, suspend it on chains so it'll come out slightly, but you can see there's just a small gap now between the cavity and the wall of what will become the grate. What I'm hoping is that will reduce the rate at which charcoal slips out. At the same time it's also going to make the charcoal just that little bit deeper. Now talking of measurements and things of the like, let's just have a look-see. The uh, chamber that the charcoal sits in is about 8 inches wide and 6 inches deep. This um, pan here is uh, 4 inches deep, so if we put this in there like so, it's going to add, I don't know, 2 or 3 inches I suppose to that, which gives us something like 7 or 8 maybe nine inches of charcoal depth so as to hopefully improve the quality of the gas coming through. Um, this part here of course may then be easier to connect up to that um, charcoal pan to become the new uh, grate for the system. It should have a great effect. Oh, oh, oh. Right, now the uh, base of the gasifier used to be just a flat steel disc what I've done since uh, discovering the, this problem with the gasifier is I've installed a hole. I imported, uh, imported this hole from Germany and I made up this little piece here. Let's just put that on top of here. Just bear with us. It's kind of awkward using just one hand for this. There we go, it's close enough. That's the new base of the gasifier. So. What it does is it increases the distance from the base of the gasifier to the grate, which would be about there, and also improves the ability to clean it out. <coughs> As we now simply unscrew that and agitate it from below to dump out the charcoal. I'll just get that out of the way again. 
perhaps put it back on the trolley so you can see how it fits with this. Right, that's how it would look from under the trolley. You just reach under there and turn that with whatever tools are necessary and scrape out the goop. And they also put some sort of shaker rod in here to improve access to the charco cola. One of the problems I was having before uh, was that all I had for a clean out was this. It's a dual purpose sort of arrangement. When it's inserted you've got your grate shaker, which is very clever. Take that out of there. And that's your sole access to the interior of the gasifier for clean out. And that at this little shovel. You put it in here and you kind of scoop it around and get the darker cola out. Then very lovingly just dump it all over the floor. Um, that had the downside though, this configuration, that um, when you did this you actually bumped the grate around and because of the weakness I described before, the charcoal would all fall out. So the charcoal that was here should have stayed there, but it didn't. It would actually be liberated to such a degree that unburned fuel would start falling out with it. Uh, so during a, a rigorous clean-out session, I could actually have unburned fuel coming out of here. Um, so I'm hoping that with pan-based technology sitting in there, that the problem will go away and stay gone away. Um, that's the plan anyway. Now if I turn this little puppy upside, well make that right side up, give us a moment here. You could say I'm doing this single-handedly. <laughs> Just move it in here out of the wind so it doesn't mess up the camera too much. I've done something a bit devious in here but don't worry, it'll soon be cleaned up. Um, what I've done is I've added extensions to the nozzles. Uh, those nozzles were originally screwed right into the bulkhead here, so you add a 9 inch diameter nozzle ring. Uh, that nozzle ring was 3 inches above this restriction plate, which in itself is 3 inches diameter here. Uh, what I've done is I've added a stainless steel tube to the restriction plate. It's actually a press fit. And that raises the restriction essentially to the point where it's now only one and a quarter inches below the nozzle ring. And I've also extended the nozzles so as instead of a nine inch nozzle ring diameter, we're down to about two and a half inches uh, diameter. It's a bit extreme, I know, but what it did do was it cleaned up the gas very nicely. Before this gasifier became blocked up, it was already in the process of blocking up, so I can't blame this modification for it. But um, when I put that in, um, the effect was that the gas coming out of this was all the more explosive. So the 13 horsepower engine over here would start more readily and rev much higher under the same load. And it seemed also, but I can't confirm this, that it, this system used less fuel. Uh, per hour of operation. Um, let's see now, there's a piece that fits inside here. Oh crikey, where did it go? Um, oh yeah, here it is. Bear with me as I go through the junk pile. This little piece belongs in here. It separates the wood fuel from the wall, or from the inner wall of the gasifier. Uh, I'm thinking that's simply to stop it from getting too hot and also to assist in condensation collection. There's a, you'll see a ridge or a, a gap all the way around here. Underneath it, where this part hangs, is this little gutter that should, in operation, be filling with water. But what I'm finding, and I've since cleaned it out, was it filled up with tar and other stuff instead eventually blocking the outlet so I had to clean it all out my method for doing that was to fill this with turpentine well not fill it up but put plenty in anyway and set a light to it then when it all got very hot I scraped it all out so um, it would be interesting to know if other YouTube users gasifying uh, their wood have had the same problem you know if you actually had your gasifier choke up in here with burnt creosote. Um, 
Now the problem was so bad that it actually blocked up this part, the inlet to the cyclone. It wasn't so bad that it blocked this up, but it was getting there. So, yeah, I just wonder, have other folks um, had the same bitter experience as I have, or am I the only one who stuffed this up? <laughs> uh, by the way, I can't take credit for building this gasifier. This is one of Ben Peterson's creations. I think maybe one of his earlier ones. Um, I don't really know, but uh, it has actually served me well for the time I've been running it. I've had 85 hours of runtime out of that engine with this gasifier at a rate of one kilowatt hour uh, per, well, just one kilowatt per hour. So I've had 85 kilowatt hours out of it, free of charge. So I'm not complaining. Um, I'm actually quite thrilled with what I've got from it so far. Cheers, fellas.